Welcome buddies to Why What series. Here we have another interesting question. And um, let's see what it is. How to code the right cost for voicing. How to code the right cost for voicing. Rather, your voicing price, your voice charges. How to code as a beginner. Let's explore about this. Your voice pricing or the charges you quote depends on the voice genre that you do. Not all artists charge the same, nor the clients have a great budget. There is no actual tariff for a fixed rate card in voice industry. Every artist charges based on their time, effort and quality. So everybody are unique, everybody's tone, everybody's modulation, everybody's quality are different. Junior, seniors, beginners. So every artist charges based on their time, effort and and quality. Please understand what the content is all about and its reach. As a beginner, consult with your mentors or seniors for the right quote. Don't quote too low and overdo your work. Sometimes it might be apprehensive. It's okay to miss a couple of voice projects if the client quotes too low because you should value your efforts and if the client if the client is having a low budget then it's better to say a no to that so it's okay to miss a couple of voice projects if the client quotes too low learn to say no when you are not happy with the client's offer that's little <laughs> what to say why would i say no because this is my first job or my first project as a beginner you might have some kind of apprehensions but um don't go deep into that because a clear no is a no why i'm saying this is because when you start doing such kind of uh, low cost budget when the client is not able to offer you get trapped the next budget is for sure low so how will you earn your bread and that's your talent so never underestimate or low quote yourself that's why i'm saying you when you prefer to say no please say no and uh, never voice for the sake of voicing on a low cost offer because if you feel that yeah i'm getting a job i'm doing a voice over project it's new for me let me try whatever the price may be i have to hit the market people have to understand me listen my voice whatever you are underestimating your talents then because for your time efforts and your quality if you're trying to underestimate yourself going on a lower quote then it's not good you see so never voice for the sake of voicing on a low cost offer potential clients always have a good budget for voice overs as they know what it takes to be a professional voice artist yes believe me potential clients always have a good budget because they they evaluate you they evaluate your voice overs they respect as they know what it takes to be a professional voice artist always strike a balanced quote or a balanced cost that fits the client's budget negotiation is fine you can negotiate your clients on continued business on continual business or on consistency of business please do negotiate mostly clients pay studio inclusive charges if not please quote them mostly client pay for the studio charges if not please quote them no nothing wrong few clients would ask your quote based on uh, page count minute based or final edit based feel free to quote the sensible way see what happens is when few clients would ask your quote based on just a page or maybe a few minutes or what is the final edit cost so feel free to quote the sensible way because It's again your time efforts and quality that you do. The studio charges as per hour so should you be. Every script is a project for you. Every voice overs are a session for you. Always quote on per hour of studio time. Because once you go out of your home and hit a studio or commute all the way to a studio, it's all the time that you take. So every script is a project for you and every voice over sessions are on our basis that you can code create a good rapport with the client ensure on time delivery 
and do not delay your projects or if you if you are busy or studio is busy always politely ask for time so ensure a quick tat which is turn around time ensure on time delivery that's very important support small time clients on their budget as you can grow with them consistently they may say that i am a startup company please adjust and work with us so never mind you can grow with them have a competitive cost as you can do more business there is a reasonable credit payment in the market you might need to wait for a fortnight to a month time sometimes it happens and not all clients pay quickly after your files delivery please have a reasonable patience never chase a client rather follow up politely on a personal call or simply drop a mail there is no permanent cost or per page cost rather have a minimal cost or a base price to quote in such inquiries because once you follow prey to these kind of page count or a minute count you again will get trapped so it's on per hour basis voice pricing is always a sensitive issue but are certainly workable what is meant for you will definitely knock your doors so not to worry you should self respect your craft and your community have a decent price your voice is your brand value prove to the client that you're worth your price all right then i'll catch you with yet another interesting topic in the next podcast until then stay safe be good and do good bye bye